there, and welcome to the locker room. Very special version. These next series of messages are dedicated to Bernard Rappaport, our founder of our great company. I have with me here today Jim Serace, one of the people who's been profoundly affected by Mr. Rappaport. And I asked Jim to share some of the things that Mr. Rappaport has taught him and some of the spirit that lives within him from him. So I'm going to let Jim share with all of you uh, exactly what this is all about with Mr. Rappaport. Jim, you spent a lot of years with Mr. Rappaport. What is it that you've taken away from him that you want to share with others so that other people can have what you and I and others have? Thanks, Eric. Um, yeah, I really appreciate you uh, doing this. I think it's important. To, and I, I don't know if you'll have enough film footage, you know, in order to really get out everything, or there's even a forum that can hold everything that Bernard Rapport has done, has meant to people, but thousands upon thousands, tens of thousands that he's touched. Personally, for me, 30 years ago, I started with American Income Life. And um, I was an agent, a new agent, was doing quite well. Um, within months after my starting, the SGA that handled that territory, he contracted a very serious disease, died within six months. And you know, I was an aspiring young man, but new to the company. And you know, I was uh, obviously ambitious, you know, and uh, uh, really was interested in the promotion. But there was many others around the country that were interested in handling areas such as Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, large union population and so forth and I was actually shocked you know that you know Bernard not even knowing me but having the kind of instinct that he had that he allowed me to take over the reins uh, of Ohio you know being new to American income life and for him to uh, repose that kind of confidence and trust in me uh, it, meant, it meant quite a bit you know for a young man starting early in a, in a career and you know that, that never waned I mean we, we had good moments and we had tough moments we had valleys that lasted maybe year two years that I would say that most corporations might have given up on me, but he never did. And he was like loyal to his, just to, to his uh, discernment. And he was loyal to people. He was uh, absolutely, and he, he stood by me during those times. Never ever critical word. I'm always encouraging, always lifting up, and always loving. And uh, it was that, and he got me through those times to where, where I'm at today. I say Bernard Rappaport was absolutely uh, an encourager of the human spirit. I mean, it didn't matter, and I've been with them, as you know, Eric, you have too. I've been with them when we've been in, in, in sent with the senators, and uh, he was the same with senators as he was with the, with the, the fellow who ran the elevator. Mm -hmm. I mean, he encouraged people, and people wanted to be who he professed them to be. People wanted to be um, who he thought that they they were, and, and Bernard Rappaport was always someone that absolutely. Um, pronounce the light rather than address the darkness. He saw the best in people and he encouraged that best. And people became better just being around him, just listening to him. Um, you know, Bernard, you know, I, you know you've heard it said that um, the people are one in a million. Uh, Bernard Rappaport, Eric, I know you'll agree without a doubt, there's only one. There's only one of him. And I don't know if there would be, ever be a, another. I know that what he, he has spoken what he has done and the love that he put out there. I know there's remnants of him in all of us. And, and we'll, in, in a way, you know, we'll, we'll carry on who he was. Uh, and a much smaller version of him, I mean, he's absolutely larger than life. But, you know, in my life, I know that um, you know, a big part of my, my character and who I am as a human being uh, has come from Bernard Rappaport. The Bible says that, you know, in life we have many teachers, but a few fathers. Bernard Rappaport was a father, he was a father to me, he was a father to you, Eric, he was a father to, as I said, thousands. Love you, B. Yes. Thanks, Eric, for thank giving me this time. Thank you. Thank you for sharing all of this, and to all of you, thank you for tuning in. Thanks, you. If you've enjoyed and feel that the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not take this moment and do the same for a friend by sending them the Daily Message?